Hi, I'm Dr. Deb, and this is Sahifa, April 30th, and I am here with Jimmy Leeper. Jimmy is the Upper Elementary IT Tech Coordinator, and three third and fourth graders. We're going to be talking about their electronic portfolios that will be used for the parent-student-teacher conferences. So Jimmy, first give us an overview about these portfolios. Um, what are they? And um, then we'll ask the students some questions about them. Thank you, Dr. Deb. Uh, the portfolios, electronic portfolios, are Google Sites that the kids create uh, from a template, and they highlight and showcase the work they've done all year long. And they're broken up into four different links, math, language, arts, science, and social studies. And throughout the year, especially in third grade, I will go into the classes and we'll teach the uh, students the basic skills of inputting their, their work and their pieces into their portfolio. As, uh, the, as we go through with the third grade, um, those skills are get repetitive, and by the time we get into fourth and fifth grade, I don't go into the classes very often because they've learned a lot of those skills of inputting and, and downloading and saving those items in. And then these items are shared at their student-led conferences, which will be happening this week uh, with their parents and their showcase for that. So not only do we have a reflection upon learning in these four subjects, but also we have a lot of tech skills that are being utilized. Okay, great. So kids, we would like you to talk to us about what it is that you are doing with your portfolio right now and what do you believe is the reason behind the portfolios. Why, why might this be a good thing for you to do at this time of year? And make sure you introduce yourselves to us as well. Hello, my name is Gavin Klenner, and I think the reason we're doing these here portfolios is to show our mo our moms and dads um, uh, about what we're doing uh, during the school year and what we have been learning uh, and how we've progressed from the beginning of the year to the end and how much fun we've had learning. Hi, my name is Chloe and um, Maslum, and our portfolios show us what we have, like what we have been learning, and what we have been better in. Uh, yeah. My name is Bailey Ricker from 4D. And the reason I think we have the portfolios is to t show our moms and dads what we've learned in the years and what we've improved on. So these portfolios go from third to fourth to fifth. So really for a student who stays at ASD for three years, you truly get um, an ability to see growth and development over those three years. So now at the end of the school year, as you think about one of the subject areas, it might be math, language arts, social studies, or science, but just choose one. What's a reflection that you have about your learning? And why don't we start, Bailey, with you? I'll go this way. Um, one reflection I have is at the beginning of the year, we were doing writing, and... I wasn't that good at it, and then I look now, and I've improved a lot. Um, for language arts, for my reading, um, I when I started third grade, I used to read not that much of chapter books and more picture books. And now I, I don't read any more picture books. All I read is chapter books. So that's, I've improved from a little of reading to a lot. Um, one of the reflections I've been, I did in science, uh, we were doing a reflection, uh, we were doing a project on plants and we are seeing what we knew about plants from the beginning of the year to um, from the to the end of the year. 
and I've and I and I saw what I've done, and it was I actually improved a lot. I think it's pretty neat to be able to have the evidence in front of you and really see here's where I was as a learner at the beginning of the year. Here's where I am now. I mean, that's um, that's the best way to look at growth. Well, uh, Mr. Leeper, as you look at the students preparing their portfolios, what are some thoughts that you that come to your mind about the value of, of doing this? You know, it's one of our uh, learning outcomes is to be able to look at our work and, and reflect on, on those pieces. And, and, and when we first start putting in the portfolios and we're learning the repetitive task of, of the tech, the tech is, a, is, a, is hard for our third graders. Um, we're, they're still learning how to use the mouse pad properly, and then they're learning new terms and stuff like that. And once we start getting past the, the issues with the tech, and they start getting really, really comfortable with it, and, and these students are all very, very comfortable with the portfolios, and then they get a chance to start looking back at their pieces. Mm-hmm. And you, you know, we were doing that in Gavin's class this morning, actually, and getting a chance to look back at some of our really cool pieces and, and, and just celebrating the work that they've done and, and the growth. And I think that's that's really... You know, those are those are great opportunities for our students, um, and they're continue to have those opportunities as they continue to 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 build their portfolios in upper elementary. Right. Well, students, thank you. Um, we appreciate you providing a perspective on the portfolios, and we um, hope to see everyone here this week for the upper elementary conferences. Of course, we'll be holding conferences in the lower elementary as well. Uh, This is a great way for students to display their learning and um, know that we're very proud of you. All right, that's the way it is, Sahifa, this week. Thank you.